here maybe i think i will cover this one or not okay so see um, i have one choice field okay choice field maybe choice field is like uh, okay i have a choice field uh, choice field name is maybe category okay and category have three values okay soft okay hardware and network okay so now just to think about it there are these 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 things like a kind of scenarios ma okay just to think i want to test your uh, uh, logic uh, this service like what do you say client script uh, this thing okay so there is another field like sub category or maybe uh, yeah maybe kind of uh, okay so like assignment group uh -huh. no 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 so mandatory or visible you don't okay see uh, yeah so there are three more fields okay under the category there are three more fields okay what are those fields is okay uh, soft software code or hardware code or network code okay so these three are the three uh, fields okay i have a category field after the category field i have also three more fields on the table okay if i select category then i should see only this one and then mandatory okay software yeah if i see hard if i select hardware here i should see only this one and that to mandatory if i see network i should see only network and then mandatory okay so for this particular requirement what are the options we have if condition okay. uh -huh. UI policy yes UI policy how you create ma if the category is a software uh -huh. and the okay. software code will be visible ah uh, okay so visible Super and mandatory right yes. Uh, yes sir and then for this one uh, same cat if the category is hardware or category is one a, of the this is one more UI policy or same UI policy uh, one, one more UI policy. Uh, same UI. Wait, wait, ma. Uh, okay. So you are creating three UI policies here, right? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. So here you need to create, uh, like, uh, see, if I am creating a software, okay, if I select a software, software field is getting selected and then it is showing and then it is man ma making mandatory. How you are controlling the rest two that they are not uh, mandatory and they will hide? in this particular one up1 you are getting it eh? yes sir i got it how you are controlling it only for only for up1 in up1 uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe client script is a more only strict here you stay here only okay you stay here in this okay. uh, ui policy you said you give a condition and you will show this one and then make it mandatory and that time how you hide these two okay and how mm -hmm. you are controlling it so your ua policy you mention it you create this condition and then you yeah. also show it or mandatory make it mandatory or visible that that is fine but how you are controlling the remaining two these two in this UA policy. We want to speak about this UA policy. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. In UA policy, UA action. Uh, UA policy action you will do. Okay, mm -hmm. what do you do there? Uh, visibility false and uh, mandatory mm -hmm. false. Oh. So see here, uh, one UA policy, okay, three UA mm -hmm. policy actions. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. This is again three for the next two. So nine UA policies. Okay. Sorry. Uh, three UA policies, nine UA policy actions. So that means total 12 changes you are doing to the system for this particular requirement. Everyone agree? Yes, sir. Okay. So now what are what is the other alternative for the same scenario? If I want to do the same scenario in other way, what are the other alternatives we have? Client script. Uh -huh. client, script. client script so can you tell me the code of the client script d underscore form get value of uh, category uh-huh okay 
if the category is equal to software oh I'm not sure sir. Hmm. so if if category is equal to software okay so system will tell you what is i am not able to understand what is this category Oh, var. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, then. Okay, make this field mandatory. Okay, visible true, display true, visible true are those two lines. Okay, mandatory line and visible line. Okay, and then what else we need to do? Visible, visible. Ah, uh, what else we need to do? In this condition, that's it, ah. G underscore form dot set mandatory. That is set mandatory, set visible for this particular software code. Okay, that I am not writing everything, but yeah, let's say like this. That's it, ah. Uh, I can end this one, ah. Uh. One more if condition, sir. Ah, I will write like else if else if yeah. If cat is equal to hard way. So, see here three things, right? So, this is the code, right? If I have the same scenario, if I want to write using a client script, then this is the one, right? Everyone agree? Yes, no? Just confirm, my everyone? Yes, everyone say yes, completely yes. Anything is missing here? Hmm. Anything is missing here? Is this Reverse right? Reverse action, sir. Reverse action, yeah. you are not doing it. In if condition, you can. Yeah, sir. In if condition, what? So, see, same like UA policy. Mm -hmm. Okay, in UA policy, you are doing reverse actions, right? So, the reverse actions you are not doing here. So, first you select software. Software will show and then make it mandatory. Then if you immediately do hardware, software field will be there still. But hardware field also will come and then show visibility. Then in the same session, if you just select network, network also will show and show mandatory. So three things you will see until you refresh. So when you are doing this main action, you have to do the reverse actions also. If you don't do reverse actions, then it's a testing issue. It's not a complete script. You understood? Everyone understood this logic, ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. So see these kind of things, okay? And one more one uh, yesterday, someone told me, sir, give me some scenarios. Okay. Second scenario is, okay. This is scenario is out of the box scenario, but try to see these kind of scenarios. Okay. Just answer me, okay. So see here, <clears throat> this is very important scenario. Maybe you can see this kind of scenarios. You, you, if you face it, you have to implement the same way. We don't have our option. Okay. So see, schedule is there. Observe the behavior. Okay. I'm. I think I covered this one, right? This example I shown it already. Right. So see, planned start date. Okay. I'm selecting 14. Okay. Planned end date. I am selecting 13. Okay. 
So one script is running in the back end, taking these two values, start and end. If it is it is comparing it, if this one is lesser than this one, then giving a message. Okay, this is what the requirement or a business functionality. Now tell me what client script they write written. And what on what like exactly I want to I want you to tell what client script and how they design this particular logic. What should they get the plan ended values? Uh, compare it with uh, get value of this one, get value of this one, and then compare it and give the message, field message, show field message. That code one I got it, but client script what type of client script they written? First thing, first on question. Change. On, change. on change, very good. So on change on change field. On change. On ended it. On incident. Okay, my incident table on change client script. Okay, on change of which field? End date field. Right? Everyone agree to this point? Everyone? Yes. This is the final answer. Huh? Yes, sir. Any other answers? Just tell me. Anyone can object this one? On change client script on this table. It's not an incident table, change table. Okay. On change of this field, compare these two and then give the message. That is the final answer, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Any no's here? Okay. So I'll take 100% yes. Sir. Okay. You're all thinking the same way. Okay. I will make you as no. Okay. See here. Huh. Just to see now. Okay. If I, if you see this one, what I am going to do after the result, you will say no. Okay. So first I am selecting plan end date. Okay. And then I am selecting plan start date. The script ran. Huh? Uh -huh. This is correct only. No? So now uh, the script ran. Now on change of which field it ran. See, I'm I'm changing again. Started. Started. I'm I'm changing the start date field on change of this on field. Date. Yeah. On change of this field, the script ran. So now, your answer is wrong. On change of this field. Now on change of this field. So this particular scenario, how you do it? Maybe you can keep it on submit. On submit is a good option, but I don't want to wait till the on submit. I want to show here only. So change level only. So how you do it? We need to write both fields sir, on change. Two client scripts. Yes. You need to do? Two client scripts are on change with two fields sir. And what is the scripts? On change sir. On change only. Script to script. The script is different or script is same? Same sir. Same. Okay. But only so see here the same script you need to develop one script you need to create two client scripts on change client script one for this field one for this field this answer is right if you go and see this on change ta table also change table you will be seeing two same scripts with the two different names and two different on change fields this is very 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 important scenario ma in your custom table or some other table you may have the same kind of two fields where you need to validate something generally we we, we our view will see only one side okay i am changing this so it is happening but reverse things na reverse things only testers will test it when testers will test they will see all the test cases okay end user might go for any other way right we can't imagine so Till we see in this scenario, we don't know. We are in assumption like okay, two fields are there, and generally this is first field, this is second field. I can write simply this one. But what about like a mad guy like me, who can select the first one, this one, second one is this one? Or they selected it, but they changed it. At that time also, it needs to validate, no? So when we are logically thinking scripting, check all the possibilities. Don't only see one way. This is essential for developers. You got it, ma? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, Ismail, these two, uh, Ismail, these two are fine for you. Requirements, real case requirements. Yes, sir. Uh, 
So something like this, you just start thinking, I will also get you more, okay? Date comparison, okay, or two fields comparisons. So when you have two fields and you, if you want a logic, if you want to make it logic, okay, uh, then you need to do these kind of things. Or if it is on submit, it is simple, direct. Okay, but on change only, if you want, then you have to control in a better way. Because we don't know the user when they will select the first, when they will select the next. Okay, so now that's it. So give me one second. So see here, next to today class is mainly. Sir, so this is on change, correct? So on, on submit also, do we need to? No, if it is on because submit, one class it won't, will be it won't, it won't control you on submission, correct? Because it, this is on just on change. We cannot make it. What is the question? Can you please? Let's say if the user ignored that error message uh -huh. and pro proceeded further. So, okay, let me save like this. You seen it, huh? So there is one on submit also, it seems. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so three, three are there. On submit is yes, your logic is same, right? Correct one. And here we have some other message also. Yeah. Right. 